Hi, Glow Stream TV. It's Brandon, aka B Rich Beauty, aka your beauty best friend. And I'm so excited to be joining you guys every Monday for Makeup Monday. Uh, I want to take a moment and introduce myself so we can get to know each other and you can learn a little bit more about Be Rich, okay? So before we do that, let's get started. I believe in a good sip and see, I am from the South. So that means if you have your favorite alcoholic beverage, if you're over 21, go ahead and grab it. And if you're under 21, grab your favorite non-alcoholic beverage and let's sip and see together. I'm drinking a Malbec, one of my favorite types of red wine out of my Olivia Pope wine glass. I always feel like a fixer when I drink out of this glass. So cheers and let's get started. What better way to get to know a little bit more about me is to play Brandon's top five. So I was asked five questions. I'm gonna answer them and we'll go from there. How did I get into makeup? Well, I started doing, I've been doing makeup for 16 years and I fell in love with makeup 16 years ago and I don't look a day over 10. Um, and I was able to witness the power of transformation, which I internally like sparked an interest in the art of beauty. And so back in the day before there was a Google type of thing, I know, I actually read books. So I would read books from, by some of my favorite celebrity makeup artists, um, Kevin O'Quan, uh, Sam Fine. And I would literally have my friends come over and I would just practice. I'm, like, by the way, not like fancy makeup either, like drugstore, CVS type of makeup. And I would just practice. God, God bless my friends for allowing me to help them look their very best, whatever that looked like 60 years ago. So um, I've been doing it ever since. And for the last 15 years, I've worked for a really big cosmetic company called Mac Cosmetics. And I started out in retail. Uh, I've been in education for the last 11 years and I've just been teaching and loving the art of makeup to share some of my favorite techniques that I've picked up over the years and added to my makeup arsenal. Ooh, that's a sippable moment. What's a career highlight for me? I have two actually. First one was participating in Milan Fashion Week for Autumn Winter 19 was the most incredible experience. I did makeup for like Ferragamo, Luisa Bacaria, Max Mara, Alberto Ferretti, right? So it was such an amazing experience being able to be backstage um, in Milan for Fashion Week. Second career goal was last year for 2019, I shot a, I created five looks for a global campaign that's gonna be launching for Mac. Um, this year actually in January. So super exciting. That was another personal career highlight of mine. Um, yes. What's my favorite feature? Skin. I'm such a skincare junkie. I believe that in order to have a great makeup, it has to start with the skin. So the prepping, the cleansing, the moisturizing, the eye cream, I love skin and I love all things that go into making skin look its very best. What's my desert island product? If I was stranded on a desert island and it could only have one product, it would be skin related and it would be a mist. Whether it's a big mist, a small mist, a mini mist, I never like to mist out on staying hydrated. And if I'm on a desert island, I want to stay hydrated. So mist mist is one of my must-haves, a good old Miss Tanny. What would I feel lost without of? Oh my goodness, that's a great one. And I'm gonna take another sip. My brushes. Makeup can come and go, but brushes are like knives to a chef. Brushes are that to me. I would feel absolutely lost if I did not have my brushes uh, because I've, some brushes I've had for like 16 years I still use. And some brushes I am just so, I have multiple of because I love that brush so much. And so to me, my brushes are like my children. Um, I guard them fiercely and I would absolutely feel lost without my brushes, especially as an art makeup artist, right? Ooh, there's a bonus question. All right, so what excites me? 
Oh, that's a good one. Um, I want to say the evolution of makeup. Seeing how makeup and the landscape of makeup has transformed and transitioned over the last 16 years makes me excited. There's so many more makeup options these days. There's so many types of looks. Um, there's the power of self-expression, male grooming, uh, social media type of makeup, runway makeup. So what excites me is the evolution of makeup and how makeup impacts us on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, so I hope you like the top five with me. Actually, top six. I love good bonus questions. Those questions were good. I look forward to bringing you guys great Makeup Monday content. Don't forget, click the link, subscribe, and please leave comments so that way I can continue to bring the best type of content to you all. Until then, let your soul glow, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Love you lots. Mwah.